Here is the World Book Encyclopedia S. Wanted to make sure that I kept that one. I'll show you why in just one second. You'll notice here, copyright 1969. Thought it might have been 1970 because when you turn to space, space travel. Uh, this is so awesome. And they have hot off the press pictures. All right, so space travel. And man, did I love this. I would have been, what, 19, I was seven when we got this. I think I was eight when we got this. Uh, from a traveling encyclopedia salesman. And um, did the whole thing about going to the moon. Uh, and then hot off the press, as I said, pictures of being on the moon. And then the journey back. And then space stations, and then they start getting into what are we going to do. And then uh, our trip to Mars. Um, which, of course, we haven't done yet. But we were talking about it. Okay, so that's great. I got that. Now, right before I ask this Q and R, Q and R, and I really thought that I had lost Q and R and I wanted it badly because of something I remembered was in there. And so digging around, there it is, boom. So Q and R, and um, again, 1969. And what was so fascinating to me is this right here. Races of man. Uh, so basic types, and here it talks about uh, Caucasoid, Mongoloid, and Negroid. Um, so 19th century sci uh, quote unquote scientific designations continued into um, encyclopedia. And then you have all of the different kinds of races, right? And so forth. And then this is the one that I remember very well. The main characteristics of the three great stocks of man. The Negroid, the Caucasoid, and the Mongoloid. So hair is coarse uh, and is wavy and even curly. It often uh, coils and spirals. Uh, earlier versions of that describe the hair as, as woolly. Um, Negroid peoples are, uh, their heads are long and fairly narrow, um, skin, color, nose, broad and flat with flaring wings, nasal root is low and wide, lips are thick, turned out, mouth is fairly wide in most Negroid people, eyes have no folds at the corner, and so forth. And then, uh, Caucasoid, Mongoloid. Now this is, uh, obviously at, at this time, Physical anthropology was rejecting the concept of race, uh, but mainstream, kind of mainstream science that finds its way into um, uh, encyclopedia, um, and, and the author of this is a is a Wilton Marion Krogman, uh, who I've not looked up to see, but um, look at this. So it has this right here. Race, superior, uh, race superiority. Science does not support the claim that some races are biologically superior or inferior to others. Civilizations of any race may be advanced or retarded, and the people within them may have greater or smaller opportunities for contact and for personal development. People who live in an advanced civilization, regardless of race or stock, develop much more rapidly than people who live in retarded uh, civilization. But there is no evidence to prove that says anything to do with inborn abilities and aptitudes. As for the claims that this people or that race is uh, the founder of culture and civilization, science can uh, only call them absurd. Several dictators have based their claims for world domination on the supposed fact that the people of their country belong to a superior race. They argued that because they were a superior race, that they should rule the world. So here's this, the next one here is on race and nationality. Race is often confused with 
nationality. People speak of the English race or the German race or the Italian race, but the people of these countries are descended from many races. They are properly called peoples, uh, for each group has its own language, culture, traditions, and political ideals. But it does not make them races. The leaders of, the Nazi, of Nazi Germany talked a great deal about the purity of the race, but there was no scientific basis for their claims. Uninformed persons sometimes explain this fact, uh, you know, why it is that we have conflict, uh, by saying that members of different races sometimes have a natural dislike for each other, okay? And they leave that uh, without challenging it. So even though you have this outmoded notion of biological race, you, of course, do have um, the races that we recognize some face validity with these designations. But it was understood then, and it's understood now, although it's increasingly being, this, uh, the distinction between these two are being erased, that race and nationality are not the same thing.